Thank you, Director General of NAVDAC, Directors, Staff of the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, our colleagues from NAVDAC, our partners, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good morning. On behalf of uh, the Presidential Steering Committee, the Federal Ministry of Health, the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, and of course, uh, the robust partnership between the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency and NAVDAC, I welcome you to this uh, event. I will have promised you uh, in the last couple of days that we have successfully withdrawn about 1,066,214 doses of expired AstraZeneca vaccines. As you can see, these vaccines have now been deposited by the Abuja Environmental Protection Agency. We have come through in our promise to all Nigerians to be transparent in our delivery of vaccines. These vaccines did not expire before we took the decision to withdraw them. Today is an opportunity for Nigerians to have further faith in our vaccination program because we have lived up to the expectation of all Nigerians. We had the option if we were to take the advice of some experts to try and use these vaccines even beyond the labeled expiry date. But working together with my sister, the DG of NAVDAC, we took that decision uh, to destroy these vaccines at the point that uh, they got expired. This is to further demonstrate the high standards that we operate within Nigeria. The work that we do is a work that requires trust. It is a sacred trust that has been bestowed on us by the generality, generality of Nigerians. We hold that trust to be true, and we guard that trust very jealously. This is why today we are destroying these vaccines that have expired. I want to assure every Nigerian that the heroes of today's activity are actually the frontline health workers. A few months ago, when these vaccines were offered to us, we knew that they had a short shelf life. But we were living in an environment where the supply of COVID-19 vaccines were very scarce. They were not available due to vaccine nationalism. We had developed countries that procured these vaccines and hoarded them in their stores. At the point that they were about to expire, they were offered for donation. While we appreciate the donation from uh, these countries, we have to acknowledge the fact that well, they were almost expired vaccines. Because we wanted to satisfy and protect Nigerians, we offered to accept these vaccines, worked collaboratively with NAVDAC to ensure that NAVDAC also tested and made sure that these vaccines were in good condition. And then we rolled out. We rolled out under very difficult circumstances. We actually got our health, frontline health workers working night and day. Staff of the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency did not know Saturdays or Sundays. We were working round the clock under very extreme situations just to make sure that Nigerians have access to vaccines even when these vaccines were not widely available. We were able to vaccinate over 10 million Nigerians with these short shelf life vaccines. If we were to wait until much later when vaccines will be widely available, maybe we will not have gotten any Nigerian vaccinated by now. So my heart and my pride goes out to those frontline health workers that continue to walk around the clock. We still have short shelf life vaccines in the country. They are still potent. They have not reached their end of use date. And the health workers are still going there 
working settlement to settlement, rural area by rural area, making sure that these vaccines are being administered. We have saved Nigeria over 40 million US dollars. Resources that can be plowed into other areas of the health sector. So we're very proud today of all the health workers, not only because of the work that they've done around vaccination, but since the onset of the pandemic, the heroes of this pandemic have been the frontline health workers, and we will continue to encourage them, we'll continue to work with them until we're able to vaccinate at least 70% of our eligible population and achieve herd immunity. We guarantee Nigerians that these vaccines that we use are safe, they are effective, they can protect Nigerians against severe form of COVID-19 and also protect against death from COVID-19. The only people that are mostly dying from COVID-19 are the people who are unvaccinated. Very, very few people that have been vaccinated are dying from COVID-19. More often than not, it's because they have an underlying condition, not just COVID-19. There's more than ample evidence to indicate that once you get the vaccine, you will get protected from COVID-19. When we started out before uh, March, there were a lot of conspiracies about these vaccines. Day after day, week after week, we have been able to prove that these conspiracy theories are exactly what they are. Conspiracy theories that have no basis, that only work on the fears and indecisions of Nigerians. Now that we have over 10 million Nigerians that have been vaccinated, there is ample evidence that these vaccines do not cause you to die immediately after you take them. These vaccines don't make you magnetic. These vaccines don't make you become uh, a robot. These vaccines don't do all of the crazy things that they say happens to you because you've taken the vaccines. There are a lot of women who have taken the vaccine while pregnant and their children have come out very well. There are a lot of lactating women who have taken the vaccines. Their kids are doing very well. I hope that some of you have seen some of the testimonies of women that took the vaccine either when they are pregnant or when they are lactating and even some women who took the vaccine and later become became pregnant so a lot of the conspiracy theories are because of armchair public health unquote quote and unquote specialists that really don't understand science right so please i want to implore journalists to continue to promote the information around the vaccination and the good vaccination practices that we're showing today. I want to end by again con congratulating the patriotism, the dedication and commitment of my sister, uh, Professor Moji Adeye, the DG of NAVDA, whom we have worked very, very closely with to ensure that these vaccines did not expire. These vaccines were utilized optimally until a stage when we realized that, okay, these vaccines came when they were almost expired. We will not allow any Nigerian close to a vaccine that is even near expired. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, babe. After she speaks, we'll have questions after she speaks, okay? Let DG speak. DG. Uh, thank you. Yeah, let's do the let's do the hand. Gentlemen of the press, uh, I say thank you again for coming to witness what is happening now, especially this environment. Uh, Nigeria is a unique country in terms of immunization. To have the regulatory agency and primary health working hand in hand since September of last year, planning for when the vaccines will arrive. It is 
only Nigeria that had that type of setting. And many other countries, regulatory agencies have been told by WHO to copy what Nigeria is doing. Nigeria has one of the best vaccination immunization program in the world. UNICEF mentioned this last year. So we started this journey months before the vaccines came. In terms of what we are witnessing today, it is a continuous unfolding of the fact that the best is for us, Nigerians. Nigerians deserve the best in terms of quality of medicines, vaccines. That was the basis of the endless meetings between Primary Health and NAVDAC. When NAVDAC approves a vaccine, meaning what we have seen on paper, which is in form of a dossier, like a package of the history of the vaccine development. When we approve, we wait for the vaccines to come. Just like my brother, the ED, executive director of primary health said, when the vaccines came, it came with primary health as the marketing authorization holder. They, they are the ones that received it because it is their primary job to immunize the country. However, we have been working night and day together. And what he said about the vaccines coming with short expiration dating was a challenge to us as a country. But because of the love of the of country, we decided to work with that tight time span or challenge. So I mentioned that we approved the dossier first. When the vaccines come, nobody uses the vaccines unless NAVDAC says so. And NAVDAC saying so is working day and night to ensure that there is quality in the vaccines. We are one of the few agencies in Africa that test our vaccine before use. I told them as we will test our own vaccines before we use. Once we, act, well, once we get them tested, thank God, they were of quality, but we needed to prove that they are of quality. A note of lot release. What we mean by lot release is, if you have seven batches of a vaccine, you do one by one by one by one, and do safety indicating tests to ensure that our own people will get vaccines that are of quality, that are potent. So, a letter is sent through my office to the Minister of Health and the Executive Director, Dr. Fazer, standing by me, to ensure that the lot certificate has been received by them or will be received by them. This is part of quality control, what we have been doing. And in the regulatory language, we call it market control. The vaccines come to primary health. We test it in the lab. Immediately we come from Lagos to sample. We test it. It's not just testing also. We put it on a big database, a track and trace database that will show us where the vaccines are in the country. Nigeria. Our NAVDAC is the only regulatory agency that is doing that for COVID-19 vaccine. 
Why? Because we deserve the best. Our country deserves the best. So once we do that, the vaccines then go out after the testing is completed. What we are now doing is still quality control. Although it's destruction, but is that the end of the journey for a product? The product gets into the country or is manufactured in the country. It goes through the supply chain and is monitored or tracked and traced through the supply chain. And if something happens, we can recall through our track and trace setting. And if it expires, not our fault, NAVDAC will receive it. It is our mandate to regulate and control the quality of our regulated products, drugs and vaccines included. So we are going to do the ceremonial handing over of the vaccines from primary health to NAVDAC. My brother? So th this is uh, the handing over ceremony that NAVDAC is re receiving the 1 million plus doses of vaccines and now NAVDAC will destroy it in collaboration with Primary Health. I want to thank all our staff, Primary Health and NAVDAC that have worked around the clock. People may not know how much time we spend on vaccines. I want to thank Mrs. Dara Dara. Yes. So many of them out of our regulatory control. Thank you so much. And God bless. Oh. Yeah. From that those are just representatives. They are tens and tens of our staff. And of course, my brother, Dr. Faisal, for what we are thank you very much this is end of the journey for these vaccines that were manufactured about seven months or eight months ago